Alrighty then, hello, 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 everybody, the moon is up, and so am I, and we are back with more of the suicidal one, and this will be the last video, because I'm going to do chapters 5, 6, and 7, <coughs> and I'm still outside, by the pool, but, and, and my, since my little sister is still in the pool, but, and, well, it's a nice day, it's a, it's nice outside, why not? But why not use it wisely? Anyways, let's continue on. And by the way, all of this chap all of the next of the following chapters will be told through Lloyd's point of view. And I'm pretty sure some people are aware of Mr. Gishfish from Queen. He's actually the A113 of my stories. And that and there's a, there's the A113, and then there's always the Pizza Planet truck. It's so, well, the pe my pizza. Okay, that scared me. My Pizza Planet truck is someone called Sub Zero, who is spelled capital S, lowercase u, six two, lowercase e, capital R, lowercase o. Since there's already a sub. A different Sub Zero. But both both are you both are YouTubers. So 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 the newer the story is, the more likely it is to have of get the A one thirteen of my stories and the Pizza Planet the truck of my stories. So keep so keep an eye and an ear out for your Gish and Sub Zero or anything with zero it really this is and this is all told through Lloyd's point of view if I didn't say that already the day started darker than usual and it's not because of the thick clouds making 715 look like midnight Uncle Wu gave me a pair of glasses that can show me what Lisa sees there's a lot more ghosts in the city than you think my dad's dropping me off at school today since school's in in the same direction as his new job. I'm glad he's finally good and that he understands how I was never evil in the first place. He also supports me trying to find Lisa since it's been a whole since it's been since it's been a whole week since we last saw her. <laughs> Excuse me. Don't worry, little Lloyd. He he said, the little Lloyd thing it is it is an inside joke now. Excuse me. If I see her, I'll do my best to bring her back to you. Uh, but what will you do once you find her? Well, the very first thing I'll do is hug her to pieces. That's a start. Second, I'll try and talk you know, talk her out of scary people because as, as they try to hurt me and my friends. That's good, son. <coughs> Don't you mean that's bad and I should encourage her to keep scaring people? <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> Mark my words, if that was written in a Wattpad story, people would be laughing at that. I chuckled as I got out of the car and waved goodbye to my dad. He, we he waved back and drove off. Drove off. The school was extra quiet and creepy today. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. I. Uh, whispers about was it? Whispers of what I did to Lisa floated around as I walked past everyone. Boy, would they be surprised to hear that I stopped Lisa from killing herself on day one. I opened the doors to see Kai with a big smile. Hey, here's the birthday boy, he said. Come here for a birthday hug. Every year, Kai gives me a birthday hug even if I tell him to stop. Especially since Zane almost cr crushes both our bones in the process. This time, Jay took a picture of us. Correction. He took a picture of my face and sent it to to Lisa. I hope she at least has her phone wherever she is. She's missing out on her boyfriend's birthday. She's not my girlfriend. Not yet, at least, said Cole. Everyone knows you love Lisa and she loves you back. She... she does? Duh. Why else would she... you know. Right. We usually don't speak of fear being Lisa. 
Hey, look, it's Garmadork in the Dork Squad. L L O Y D. His dad is badass, so is he. Boo Lloyd. Boo, boo, boo Lloyd. Boo Lloyd. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna pause right there in the story real quick and just say this. I really hate that song because of how catchy it is. Please, I swear. Here. And I know, and I'm pretty sure Angel, Angel Antonio, and maybe Von Von uh, might actually do this. But I, sw but I swear, if I, if I see anyone who use, who's post, the, post a comment saying this song, that I will, I, I don't know what I'll do. One thing's for sure, one thing's for sure, I will hate you. Anyways, continue, continue on with the story. Seriously? That song, that song's not even in the top 20s anymore. It lost its spot to a better song addressed to Lisa and myself. It was still on people's minds. As, as Lisa once said, it's only on people's minds because it's way too catchy and it will, will want to drive everyone insane. Says the guy who stopped her from committing suicide. What? Before freshman year even started, she was going to put a machete through her chest because someone killed her family. She's the last one of her blood mind, by the way. She became one of our friends right after, her de defending us and even her giving, her giving things up just so we can be happy. That death she bought me cost her a lot more than you think, but I never harmed her on, oops, on purpose before. The only times that I remember hurting my Lisa was because she came out of nowhere and I accidentally got her. And if you really do care about me, then stop bullying us. He stayed quiet. Klaus has a crush on you, by the way. He, he does? I nodded. I know this will sound weird since it's coming from me, but if you're right, thank you so much, Lloyd. He, he said before hugging me I and ran to him to find Chan. Klaus. Dang it. I don't think he will do any harm here for a while. Class was about to begin when an alarm went off. It's a hard lockdown. A bad guy is here and nobody is allowed outside the classroom. The speaker went on. Attention, everyone, said the principal. He sounded scared. Skeletons have entered the building and they're looking for people. Skeletons? Lisa, is this your doing? Kai E. Smith, Nia Smith, Jay Walker, Zane Julian... Nicole Hensbrook Stone and Lori Montgomery Garmadon, please, for the love of Ninjago, come to the main office immediately. This is Lisa's doing. We managed to escape the, you know, the classroom through the vents and get to our lockers to change into our G's. You know, we made our way past the skeletons and to the main office. My queen, the ninjas are bringing them home? But our mission was, yes ma'am, I understand. He said into a supple made out of bones. I don't know how it works, but that's pretty cool. I am General Gish. I am in charge of the skeleton army, and our queen would like you to come with us to no man's land. No man's land, said Jay. He, he, but no man can live out there in the west. His, our queen is a woman. We'll come with you. Just give us a few minutes to get food and water. We already took care of that. Just get in the carriage. We did as we were told. Whoops. Hey, Green, said Ninja. Said Nia. Jeez, was that a mess up or what? You do have a plan, right? Yes, I do. We just need to wait until we get there. I feel as though the end is coming soon. No pun intended. The ride to Lisa's castle was a bit painful since the carriage was made of bones and the leather wasn't helping. But we made it to no man's land where Lisa, where Lisa's deadwood castle lies. General Gish has returned with the ninja, I yelled a skeleton guard. Open the gates! And lots of footsteps were heard before the gates really opened. I'm surprised none of- Damn it, Sub-Zero! How the hell do you keep getting stuck in the gate chains? Never mind, I was wrong. Thanks, Zero. <coughs> Sorry. The castle was white with bones and skeletons ro roaming in the city, roaming the village. They sold all sorts. Wait, wait a minute, it's supposed to be white with 
bones and ghosts, not bones and skeletons. But there's the same thing. In my bad. Take two on that. The skeleton. Take three. The castle was white with bones and you know, ghosts roamed the city. He, they sold well, all sorts of things except food. They must get food you know, shipped in for their queen. But the clothes they've tailored looked amazing. You know, the castle flags is the ca the castle had flags of female like Jolly Rogers, which seemed to be made out of the same material as the clothes. Silk the silk from the widow worms. It only can be found deep in no man's land, but not much information is known about them. One thing's for sure, this is the village of the dead. It, it, nothing's alive except for us. The castle doors opened for us as, and we got off. Their queen was Lisa. Hello, everybody, she purred. A ghost was sitting next to her. Uh, that must be the ghost of her brother. His necks and her arms were deeply cut. I don't want to know what, is exact, what exactly happened to the mother or father. Glad you came. Hey, why are you doing this? Asked Jay. P the people of Ninjago did nothing to you. Nothing to me, you say? How about killing my family? He yeah, I'm the last one alive in my family tree, and you say they did nothing? Well, only six people are worth the trouble of saving, and you aren't those, and you aren't those six. You, and you aren't those six. Cause I want one of those six people to be my king and rule the West with me. Tell you what, Ninja. If you can get me the six people, my skeletons will only go to the city for food and water. No man, no man's land provides lots of skeletons and ghosts, but not much water or food. <laughs> and she giggled. Her words were a bit slurred. Are you looking for your friends? asked Zane. Yes. What if I were to tell you that they're closer than you think? I'd... <coughs> I don't know what I'd do. I took off my hood to reveal my face. She was surprised, to say the least. What the... Lloyd, you... What? Shocking, I know. But hey, I shocked you back, didn't I? Well, yes, obviously. I knew you, you would go far, but this, this is just, wow, no wonder why the green ninja of my crush, did I just say crush out loud? Kai started to laugh. Yes, yes you did, and Lloyd feels the same way. Kai! Shit. And all my friends are the ninjas. I knew I should have, Momo, why hey, did you talk me out of sending out someone to keep an eye on my friends? Because before mom went to heaven, she, she always said that the eavesdropping on others' business is rude. Right, mom did say that. Who are you talking to? I asked Cole. Her brother. Want to see him? I said as I he took off my glass, took off the glasses. As the lens were dipped in, in Lisa's ancestors' tears. Was, but I can't hear Moro. Cole took the glasses and put them on. He was shocked to see Moro and the other ghosts around the castle. He passed he passed it around so everyone could see the truth. So that's what so this is what it looks like through the eyes of Lee. Oh, that's not a pretty way to die," said Jay. "I don't think I want to look in that direction. How did you? Never mind. I don't want to know. Well, seeing that the VIPs are here, prepare the rooms for them. Uh, have the chef prepare. Wait." We're not stay. We're not here to stay. We only came because your skeletons came to school, causing the whole school to go on a hard lockdown. Boneheads. At least they stand true to their name. She purred. I swear, every time she purrs, she sends chills down down my spine. Fetch me paper and pen. I'm say. I'm say. What was I thinking? I'm. I'm sending a note saying. I'm sending a note to their parents as and the school. Uh, they will stay here for a week. Why feel as though the things will start heading downhill from here? Chapter six: Royal Death. Oh, uh, oh yeah. And here's why I made the West no man's land. 
and land. According to memory, neither the north has mountains, the east was filled with nature, and the south seems to be by the sea. Yes, so I can easily say the west is no man's land, which we never see in the actual movie. Maybe because Please don't say No Man's Land doesn't exist in my fanfic. Thank you. Have a nice day. Excuse me real quick. Okay, I'm back. Surprisingly enough, the school and our parents let us stay with Lisa. I will admit that the only time the skeletons came to the city was to steal food, drinks, and deliver a letter one, or one time. It was rare for the skeletons to attack, but when it did happen, they were provoked. It, made se it makes sense now, since No Man's Land is the worst place to try and grow food. Everyone got equipment to see and hear the ghosts, uh, and man, did some die the worst way possible. At least most of the dead are nice. I say most of them, since some were thieves, killers, etc. They all are under Lisa's command, so we shouldn't be too worried, right? Wow, who knew the dead made such comfy clothes? asked Kai. Did I forget to mention we're shopping around town? Next time hey, I need something tailored, I'm coming here. Yes, their weapons are, are much stronger than our previous weapons, said Zane, hey, as he tested one of their bows. And the, and their music is amazing. Needless to say, hey, who said that? What? He was a spy, said Jay. He's buried deep into a good short story called uh, the suicidal one. She trusted him since birth. Wait, what? Did she just please say he, she didn't? <laughs> no! She died! No! She was my favorite character. Why would you do that to me, Luna? <coughs> Keep reading, I told him. He went back to being to being nose deep in his seven chapter story. Phew, she came back to life. Thank God. See? I told you the Luna stories tend to have happy endings. Yeah, but that was too close to say it wouldn't give me a heart attack. And Neo was reading an even longer book called Zero. Well, and gave and gave Jay another book. And he quickly dove into it as we made our way back to the castle. Moro was floating all over the place with a worried expression on his face. What's wrong, Moro? I asked. He didn't, he, he didn't hear me, but he kept mum, uh, mumbling something. Hello? Earth tomorrow, do you read? Huh? What? Oh, hello, he said in a slightly worried tone. What's wrong? Did you lose something? More like something's lost. That's what happens when you lose something. Well, yes. That's true, but it's not mine. What's missing then? Not what? Who? Okay, who's missing then? My father. He's missing. But why do you sound like a terrorist broke into? He never liked Lisa. All six of us are shared a what? Lisa's the nicest person we know, said Jay. I have to agree with him. How could anyone not like her? She was born on April 4th. So? People can be born on July 7th, which might be the luckiest day in the year, said Kai. But she was born, she was born around, within the 4th hour. Anyone can be born around the, the 4 o'clock on a day. She just has a bunch of 4s at the time she was born. But it in Jay? I mean, but it in Cole? <laughs> you don't know why then? Why what? asked Nia. What does her birthday have to do with her father? Anyone in our family born around the fourth hour of the fourth month on the fourth day is expected to die early. Usually they commit suicide. That explains why she waited. But Dad never saw her as his daughter, even if she looked just like him. All he saw was death. He practically disowned her, but erased her anyways. Moral nodded. It's my fault, he said as he sat on the floor. If only I didn't beg Mom and Dad to take us to the kite festival on Lisa's birthday, he Dad would have never crashed into us. Wait, what? We all said at the same time. <coughs> I can control the wind just like my dad. My mom knew how much I wanted to show off my powers at the kite festival. Dad knew this and I thought he'd at least kill the freak of the family. 
Belisa that wasn't even there. This is the one time bullies were a good thing. She was bullied as she grew up, and while her family was looking for her, the father crashed into the mother's car with her son in it. She wanted to join her mom, mom and, bro and brother, and so she was going to put a machete through her chest, but we stopped her from going to hell, which is what would happen if someone commits suicide. We saved her then. We can save her again. Where's Lisa? Time skip because I said so. As soon as we got her to the throne room, there w there was, was Lisa's father laughing his head off as Lisa was tied to the throne. Cole snapped and tried to tattle him to the ground, but he's a ghost. Needless to say why he failed. Mora fought off Mr. Love while I tried... Well, I untied Lisa. As soon as Cole got his ghost armor on, but everyone else was fighting off from Mr. Love and the rest of the traitor girls. I did my best to protect Lisa, but it was all in vain. Skeletons pinned me down as, as Lisa's father forced a machete through the dead center, no pun intended, of Lisa's chest. All was silent as I rushed to her side with tears clouding my vision. Lisa, you... You'll be okay. You'll be okay. No, I won't, Lloyd, she said in a calm, broken tone. I will be with my mom soon. No, you won't. Not just yet. We'll fix you, Lisa. We will fix you. I said as tears fell faster upon her. I'm sure my eyes were slowly starting to turn pink as she cut my cheek. I cupped her, I cupped her hand as she smiled. Lloyd? Yes, Lisa? Can I have a kiss before I go? I nodded as I kissed her with passionate love. Her kiss was strong, but it weakened as her hand slipped from my cheek. I never cried so hard in my life until this moment. I heard that the original plan was, was just to overthrow Lisa, never to kill her. The skeletons and ghosts that tried to rebel against her are now crying too. All they wanted it was for her to be relieved of the stress of the kingdom, never dead. I should have been I should have never left the castle. She'd be still be alive if I stayed by her side. Lloyd? What Zane? I sniffed. Didn't Master Wu say your is that your powers were life itself? Yes, but how wait the sorry. <laughs> Zane, you genius! I pulled the machete out of, her, out of her and gave it to Moro. He instantly went after their father with it as I, plan, as I placed my hands where her wounds were. I used all my strength to heal her. This has to work. <coughs> Everyone was holding their breath in, hope, in hopes that I can bring Lisa back. But so far, nothing's happening. I started to cry again as I lost most of my strength. I couldn't bring Lisa back. I cried even harder as I hugged her lifeless body. <coughs> my friends placed their hands on my shoulders. I can, I can tell they were heartbroken too as I felt something thro flow through my arms as to my hands to Lisa's body. Lisa did so much the past four years as we've known each other. When Kai was trapped in a porta potty and was about to be flipped over, Lisa beat up the guys, stopped the porta potty from tipping, and freed him. Since then, he he's never really he he's never really he went to a porta potty unless she was close by. When Nia was was cornered by my father's goons, as Lisa scared them away with the help of her brother. Since then. She always carried a small weapon on her wherever, she, whenever she left home. When Zane was going to be scrap metal, Lisa took the crook out with a shovel last minute. They saved Zane and gave him an upgrade. Every time he sees his falcon friend, his day seems brighter according to him. When Jay was stuck in the boys' locker room after the school sports team le teams left, Lisa was passing through at the right time and freed him. 
because she had had to explain why she broke the locker, but Jay's forever thankful for her. When Cole was looking for a new pair of headphones, <coughs> he was accused of almost a, and almost arrested on the spot for shoplifting as soon as he picked up a pair. If Lisa didn't spend the three hours arguing why the clerk, the security, and the cop, and and the cops, uh, if Lisa didn't spend three hours arguing with the clerk, the security, and the cops why they were, were being stupid, Cole wouldn't be using his new favorite headphones everywhere he went. As for me, <coughs> oh, where do I even begin? She did so much for me. She stopped people from beating me up. She protected me from the news. There was many more things just for me, for us, for everyone. If anyone should hate Lisa, then they'd have, they'd have to be out of their minds to dis- even dislike her. Her heart was so big and golden that it makes the people who wear their hearts on their sleeve, they seem colder. Her heart was like her gloves. There's never was there her even, ne- never has there, her, uh, never has there ever been a girl as kind as Lisa Love. And sadly, there might never be anyone who will, will come close to it ever again. Chapter 7 is titled, The End. This is, this too is also told in Lloyd's point of view. It's been a week since Lisa was buried. I've barely eaten and slept since then. Our little joys now bring sorrow every time we use them. Cole barely listens to music. Nia hasn't taken (laughs) her pocket sword out of his box. Yes, that's a thing. Vijay barely speaks about Lisa. Zane tears up when he sees his falcon. Kai hasn't been as much of a hothead, and I've we've barely spoken in period. If I did speak, then it's little answers, nod, or shake my head. Sometimes I even write when I, hey, what I want to say. Hey, Lloyd, he said a voice. I turned around to see Klaus. He was holding Chen's hand and he was holding a small box in his other hand. I'm very sorry for your loss. I nodded. Listen, I I never really wanted to hurt you during freshman year, but everyone thought you were evil and I was dealing with my parents since I told them the day before that I'm gay. I'm sorry for all those years of bullying you and your friends, especially Lisa. I blinked back my tears. We want you to have this as a small token of our sorrow uh, and to pay tribute to her. Um, He said as he he handed me the the small box. I nodded and waved goodbye to them as we parted ways. Lunch was seventh period for for us, making the next period our final period. I sat in the usual spot for eighth period as everyone else came in. I decided to open the box to see what I'll be adding to Lisa's grave. Inside were two rings, one representing in life since everyone now knows that I'm the life ninja, while my friend is make up the rest of the ninja se- uh, the, the secret ninja force, while the other represented death. But they must they must have meant to give the rings to the both of us before she passed away, I bet. But now it's too late to give her anything to wear. If anyone deserves a second chance in life, it's our little angel, Lisa. (laughs) (coughs) Okay, class, said our English teacher. I know you all miss Lisa Love, which is why I've prepared an assignment based off of her. We will be writing letters to put on her grave. If anyone would like to share what they wrote before we deliver the letters to Lisa, feel free to share them. I'll have tissues just in case tears are shed. The whole class period it was spent working on letters for Lisa. I don't know about everyone else, but I want to read mine before we go to Lisa's grave. Thanksgiving to, to tomorrow. 
Hey, good afternoon, class," said our English teacher. "Today, we, today is the day where we walk to Lisa's grave. Before we go, would anyone like to share what they wrote?" My friends each stood up. I joined them too. They all tried to keep a straight face and stay calm as they read what they wrote. But there were still tears that escaped their eyes and sniffles that were heard here and there. I was the last one to read my letter. <coughs> I tried my best to keep my cool, but not even the mighty Eli from Jack could stay calm and when he lost his soulmate. I pause for quick on the story. <coughs> when I was writing this letter, like, actually, like, typing it for the story, I teared up. So, if you end up tearing up, up too, then I guess that's a good thing. <coughs> so be prepared to blink away tear. Dear Lisa, the past four years were the best years of our lives. You made us laugh. You made us cry. You made us afraid for you. You made us afraid of you. I got a few chuckles out of that one. You've made us smile, you've made us frown, but most importantly, you made us happy. I've never felt so happy to be myself before you came into my life. I know our, I know our friends would, would say the same thing in their letters, but I want to say more. Ever since I stopped you from committing suicide on April 4th, 2015, I, could, I couldn't keep my mind off, off of you. I couldn't get my mind off of you. I wanted you to always be by your side, and not because I wanted to make sure you didn't try to kill yourself with a with a knife, but because you made me feel happy. Never have I ever wanted to harm Klaus, but when I found out that he overdid what I paid him to do, I wanted to kill him right on the spot. Before you showed up as fear, I kicked him in the in the balls as the green ninja and yelled at him when I, while I beat him up. Thankfully, he woke up five minutes before you arrived so he can see why I was pissed off at him and for not only cutting your beautiful skin, but ruining your beautiful chocolate brown hair that reminded me of actual chocolate when, I, when all he, he was supposed to do was insult you. I hated myself for her paying him to even look at you wrong, but I paid him so I could protect you from the bad guy. You were, were always there for me when I needed the most. Not the green ninja, or or now known as the ninja life. Not the next, the worst person in Jago, me. Lloyd Montgomery Garmadon. Your brother told me that you would pray that the green ninja would do something for me since everyone listened to him. But you didn't know that we were the same person until you dragged me out of school all the way to no man's land to you. That you will always be my first person outside of our friends and family to know who I am. That you will always be my queen even if your father killed you. As hard as I, he tried to get you back, I'm sorry that I couldn't bring you, you back from the dead. I'm proud to say that your people are getting along well with the people from Ninjago City, but they miss you a lot. If you're not a ghost, I hope you're an angel and that you, that you spend time with your mom and brother since I saw him go to heaven after he sent your father to hell. For his sake and ours, I hope he's burning as I write this, as in, in that you, your mom, and your brother are looking down at us from heaven and live a wonderful life there. We all miss you, Lisa. We love you to, we love you to pieces. Love, Lloyd. P.S. If you were to ask me to marry you, I would grab a priest and have us get married right on the spot. Everyone was silent. <laughs> Everyone was silent, minus the sniffles here and there. We all went to Lisa's grave quietly as soon as we placed our letters in, in the in envelopes. We, when we got there, the grave was dug up and the coffin was empty. Someone stole Lisa's body. 
My friends and I got our ninja got in our ninja suits and spread out to find her body. We need to place it back where it belongs. But none of us found her no matter where or how hard we looked. Lisa's body Lisa's body was nowhere to be seen. We regrouped with our class and placed the letters inside the coffin. I placed her half of our ring inside the coffin too. We closed the coffin and buried it as the skeleton came by. What's going on? he asked. Our teacher explained that we were paying our respects to Lisa, but her body was stolen. He nodded and left. I wonder where he's going. Time skip to night time. <coughs> Mom made dinner while Dad tucked me in bed. I know it seems childish, but it makes me feel better since... You know. Dad? Yes, Lloyd? Do you, did, did you know the loves before they passed? I remember Lisa's mother. She was a good friend of mine, even if she had a skeleton family. Literally. Her father, on the other hand, was downright evil. He was the one who showed me that being bad was rather fun. I'm glad you freed me from his lies. I'm glad too. I wish Lisa was still here. You're not the only one, son. You're not the only one. Good night, Lloyd. Good night, Dad. He turned off the lights and closed the door. I laid in my bed trying to fall asleep when the window opened. A silhouette. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. A silhouette flew through and sat on my bed with his xenomorph-like tail and toxic fairy, toxic fairy wings. So, the silhouette held my hand as he got on top of me and whispered something into my ear. Thanks for saving me, Green Bean. I couldn't hold myself back from having a rather heated make-out session with my soulmate, my little angel, my Lisa love. <laughs> Mega times here because I freaking said so. I was in the middle of a pleasant dream when something bounced on my on top of me. Daddy, Daddy, wake up, wake up! Said my little girl Aya. I made a flower bloom on my head. I opened my eyes to see my little brown hair, green eyed princess, who was with a green and trumpet daffodil holding her hair in a ponytail. But she's growing up so fast. Her little brother crawled crawled up with a small box in his hands as Lisa got up. I he opened the box and out came a skeleton cat meowing. Our little son Derek may be deaf, the deaf, but, but he's excellent at bringing in the dead back to life, just like his mother. He signed to Lisa how he found the cat and how he brought it back to life. Lisa hugged him with all the love in the world. I he brought them and our daughter close t as the sun rose from the east. It may he be a new day, but I never want to let go of my little portion of heaven. The end. Thank God, because my my throat is killing me. But yeah. I, we finally made it to the end of the suicidal one. <coughs> please leave, leave a like. Please, please leave a like com and comment down below your thoughts of the suicidal one. What do you think of Lisa? Like, could she have, have been? Hidden? Could she have been written differently? Was there any, anything that could have been done better? Or what do you think about? For the whole, for the whole, we the whole two weeks is of a big mystery, uh, of or the whole week of where is Lisa and uh, the whole week of thinking that Lisa Love da is dead, but in actuality it just took her time to come back to life. <coughs> so, please, please leave me, your, please leave me your thoughts down below, cause I really, really want to know, like. He could have done uh, the suicidal one a, a bit better, so that way I know what to do for zero, which is the next story, which is the next Wattpad story in line. So, 
So yeah, please, you like, comment, subscribe if you want more, so more like this. And, and of course, just tell me what you think of the suit style in the comment section below. And I'll see y'all next time. Bye.